Uh, what do you call a dog that meditates? A werewolf. A were? A werewolf. Okay. Okay. Talking about volume today. Uh, okay, so volume is the space a solid and otherwise a 3D object uh, occupies. Um, I'll make a distinction later on in tomorrow's video. Uh, but essentially, it's anything that's measured in millimeters cubed, centimeters cubed, meters cubed, kilometers cubed, anything that is a measurement cubed. Okay, now the main two formulas that you will get are prisms and pyramids, and you'll also get a sphere. Um, but they have two different formulas. Now, the only one that is given to you in your, uh, the only one that is given, this is great, my pen is not working. Uh, the only one that you are given is the one on the right here, V equals the third AH. Now, I apologize, I'm going to take this just for one moment so I can hopefully quickly fix this. All right, sweet, we're back. Apologies. Are we still here? Yeah. Great. And we're back. Okay. The only formula that you're given is this guy here. Okay. V equals a third AH. And that one there is for a pyramid, which just you have to remember has an apex. It has a point at the top. Um, a prism will have a consistent cross section all throughout. And the important thing to note here is that A is your base face and H is your perpendicular height from that base face. Okay, so in this case here, uh, if I talked about that as my A, of course my dog is gonna start barking, that there would be my H there. Whereas here, that bottom face there, that would be my A, and my perpendicular height would be, uh, I guess that length uh, from there to there, if that makes any sense at all. Now, uh, spheres have a, a more particular formula. They'll have, uh, and I've drawn this little thing so it kind of looks like a 3D shape. Uh, a sphere is given by four on three pi r cubed. Okay. Now, if I'm talking about this shape here, find the volume of uh, this guy, then I guess this one would be, I can see here that that front face is my area. And then that length there is my perpendicular height. So in other words, my volume is going to be given by AH, where my area of a triangle is, hopefully remember, half times base times height. I'm going to multiply that by seven. I don't know if I can do this in my head. Uh, 36 times. Uh, yeah, no, I can't do that in my head. 36 times seven. Uh, that'll be 252. And this one would be in centimeters cubed. Okay. Uh, if I've got this one here, now, yes, it is a cone, but it's kind of like a pyramid. So I know that my formula is V equals a third AH. And so we're going to do that. So it's going to be one on three multiplied by the area of my circle. So it's going to be pi times radius squared. So pi times 6.3 squared. And then I'm going to multiply it by the height, which is 10.2. And for here, just put it into your calculator, a third times uh, pi times 6.3 squared multiplied by 10.2. And the answer that you get here is 423. And to one decimal place, I'll say 0.9. And it'll be centimeters cubed. That's your volume. Okay, and we've got another one here. Okay, this is clearly half a sphere. And so we know our volume is going to equal to half times your regular sphere, which is four and three pi r cubed, because I don't want the whole uh, volume, I guess. We don't want the whole sphere, we only want half of it. So it's gonna be half times four over three pi times radius in this case is gonna be half of that. So it's gonna be eight cubed, okay? And putting that in your calculator, that should give you uh, four on three, times pi times eight cubed. That gives you something like 1072.3. And this would be meters cubed as well. Now we have one last one. Uh, this is gonna be volume. And this one here is technically a prism. So I'm working with V equals AH. Okay, so the area here is a quarter of a circle. So a quarter times pi times radius squared. Okay. So there's the area of the front face. 
I'm just going to multiply it by how far back it goes. That is as simple as can be. One on four times pi times radius squared. And then multiply that by how far back it goes, which gives you a volume of 75.4 to one decimal place uh, meters cubed. Okay. Now I think that's it for this lesson. Hope that helps. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.